This question appeared in ZAT 2015, Quantitative Ability and Data Interpretation section. It's question 2 of 33. Question appeared from the topic Profit and Loss. It's a medium level difficulty question. This is the question. What we'll do is a step 1. We'll quickly jot down points given in this question. The three points given in the question. Right. The first one is basically this. The MRP of the product is 55% above its manufacturing cost, right? It's 55% above the manufacturing cost. Second key point is the retailer sells it after offering a discount of 10% on the MRP. The third point is the retailer makes a 23% profit on his purchase price. So these are the three data which are given and have a quick note at the data. This one is given in terms of percentage of something. This is given as a percentage of something. So is this thing given as a percentage of something. So these are the three things to keep in mind. Let's look at how to solve this question, right? The approach and the next few steps are here. See if, as I pointed out in the earlier slide, all the data given to us was in terms of percentage. And finally, what we need to compute is also a percentage. In such cases, when it comes to profit and loss, it's a good habit to assume the cost price to be 100, right? So here we're going to assume the manufacturer's cost to be 100. Let the manufacturing cost of the product be 100. Now in terms of this 100, we are going to express all other things. The next step is basically this. The MRP of the product we know is 55% above the manufacturing cost. So in this case, it's going to be 100 plus 55 percentage of 100. So the MRP of the product is equal to 155. Now, second step is the retailer sells it at a discount of 10% on the MRP. Our MRP is 155. So if this guy offers a 10% discount, he's going to give a 15.5 discount on the MRP. So he's going to finally sell it at 139.5. So we found the MRP, we found the price at which the retailer sells. He also knows that the retailer makes a profit of 23% on his cost. What we do not know is the cost of the retailer. So I'm going to assume that I'm going to assign X to be that. I'm going to take this variable X to be the cost at which the retailer is buying it from the manufacturer. So if he makes a 23% profit, he's going to be selling it at X plus 23 percentage of X, which actually boils down to 123 percentage of X. So we listed on all of these things in terms of either X or in terms of 100. The next two steps should give us the answer. Right? This is what how it's going to be. The retailer is selling it at 139.5 is what we computed. And we also know that the retailer is selling it at 123 percentage of X, which is his cost price. So let's compute X from this. 1.23 X is equal to 139.5. Simply X is equal to 139.5 divided by 1.23. The answer is 113.4. So what is X? X is the cost of the retailer, right? X is cost of retailer. So we have computed that X at what price is the retailer buying it. Have a look at it. If X is a cost price, purchase price for the retailer, it has to be the selling price of the manufacturer. So the manufacturer sold it at 113.4. We have taken the cost of the manufacturer to be 100. So how much profit is the manufacturer making? The manufacturer is making a profit of 13.4. Note this, the cost of the manufacturer is 100. His selling price is 113.4. Therefore, his profit is 13.4. The biggest advantage of assuming this cost is 100 is the profit made by the manufacturer, 13.4, actually ends up becoming the percentage profit made by the manufacturer. Because what is percentage profit? Percentage profit is equal to profit divided by cost price into 100. In our case, the profit is going to be 13.4 divided by the cost price is 100 into 100. So assuming the cost price is 100, basically cancels out both in the numerator and denominator. So always assuming the cost is 100 in profit and loss has this big advantage. So what's the profit made by the manufacturer rounded to the integer? It's 13%. Choice D is the correct answer. If you're looking for ZAT preparation assistance, Ascent Education offers a lot of preparation assistance in terms of free questions available. If you sign up for our Yahoo groups to this YouTube channel of ours where we post videos which contain tips, tricks on ZAT and to classroom programs for ZAT conducted at Chennai and Bangalore. For any of these preparation assistance, visit our website xat.ascenteducation.com.